हाय वेलकम टू द थर्टीन लेक्चर ऑफ द चैप्टर आयोनिक इक्विलिब्रिया लेटस स्टार्ट विथ द पॉइंट हाइड्रोलिस ऑफ साल्ट ऑफ स्ट्रांग एसिड एंड स्ट्रांग बेस नाउ द साल्ट फॉर्म बाय स्ट्रांग एसिड एंड स्ट्रांग बेस ऑन हाइड्रोलिस गिवज अस स्ट्रांग एसिड एंड स्ट्रांग बेस ओके नाउ इन दिस केस बोथ एसिड एंड बेस आर स्ट्रांग देअर फोर द सोल्यूशन्स आर न्यूट्रल ओके वाय सोल्यूशन्स आर न्यूट्रल बिकॉज इन दिस केस बोथ एसिड्स एंड बेसिस आर स्ट्रांग देअर फोर अवर सोल्यूशन इज न्यूट्रल सो देअर पी एच इज इक्वल टू वन हाफ पी के डब्ल्यू विच इज इक्वल टू सेवन ऐट ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके एंड एग्जाम्पल्स आर सपोज सोडियम क्लोराइड पोटेशियम नाइट्रेट कैल्शियम सल्फेट एट्सेट्रा सो ऑल दीज आर दी स्ट्रांग साल्ट ऑफ स्ट्रांग एसिड एंड स्ट्रांग बेस नाउ वी हैव टू स्टडी द सेकेंड पॉइंट हाइड्रोलिस ऑफ साल्ट ऑफ वीक एसिड एंड स्ट्रांग बेस नाउ सी केयरफुली इन दिस केस अवर एसिड इज वीक वाइल बेस इज स्ट्रांग नाउ द साल्ट ऑफ वीक एसिड एंड स्ट्रांग बेस ऑन हाइड्रोलिस गिव वीक एसिड एंड स्ट्रांग बेस ओके नो डाउट एज अवर साल्ट इज ऑफ वीक एसिड एंड स्ट्रांग बेस सो ऑन हाइड्रोलिस इट विल डेफिनेटली गिव दस वीक एसिड एंड स्ट्रांग बेस नाउ इन दिस केस एसिड इज वीक वाइल बेस इज स्ट्रांग सो एज बेस इज स्ट्रांग सोल्यूशन इज अल्कलाइन और बेसिक वाई सोल्यूशन इज अल्कलाइन बिकॉज इन दिस सोल्यूशन अवर एसिड इज वीक वाइल बेस इज स्ट्रांग सो एज बेस इज स्ट्रांग सोल्यूशन इज अल्कलाइन फॉर एग्जाम्पल सोडियम कार्बोनेट पोटेशियम साइनाइड सोडियम साइनाइड सोडियम सल्फाइड सोडियम एसिडेट ऑल दीज आर दी साल्ट ऑफ वीक एसिड एंड स्ट्रांग बेस नाउ Uh, we have to study expression for hydrolysis constant of कॉन्स्टंट ऑफ साल्ट ऑफ वीक एसिड एंड स्ट्रांग बेस सो वी हैव टू डिराइव एन एक्सप्रेशन नाउ सी फॉर दैट वी हैव टू कंसिडर ए साल्ट ऑफ वीक एसिड एंड स्ट्रांग बेस से सपोज बी ए नाउ दैट बी ए इज कंप्लीटली डिसोशिएटेड एज इन टू बी प्लस एंड ए माइनस सो बी ए ऑन डिसोसिएशन गिवज अस बी प्लस एंड A minus, okay. Where B plus is the cation of strong base and remain as such. Now we have to uh, learn it carefully. What is B plus? That B plus is the cation of strong base. So as it is a cation of strong base, it remain as such. While A minus is the anion of weak acid and it reacts with water. and gives acid so see a minus react with water to form ha and oh minus now we have to consider this reaction where a minus undergo hydrolysis to form ha and oh minus now for this reaction hydrolysis constant which is denoted by kh is given as kh is equal to molar concentration of ha into molar concentration of oh minus divided by molar concentration of a minus so we have written that equation for hydrolysis constant for this reaction so kh is equal to this equation now the molar concentration of water it is considered as 1 because water is present in a large quantity now we know that ionic product of water that is kw it is equal to molar concentration of h plus into molar concentration of oh minus and we also have third equation ka is equal to molar concentration of h plus into molar concentration of a minus divided by molar concentration of h a so this is the ka is the equilibrium constant for the acid h a so we have these three equations equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 now 
from all these three equations we have obtained kh is equal to kw divided by ka so this is our final equation which is an expression for hydrolysis constant so kh is the hydrolysis constant and it is equal to kw divided by ka now how from these three equations this this equation is obtained now we have to see now see uh, in last slide we had equation kw is equal to molar concentration of h plus into molar concentration of oh minus so which was our equation 2 now by rearranging this equation we can write molar concentration of oh minus is equal to kw divided by molar concentration of h plus now we have to put this value of oh minus into equation 1 so this is our equation 1 so in this equation we have to put the value of oh minus so we get kh is equal to molar concentration of ha into kw divided by molar concentration of a minus into molar concentration of h plus now for to this equation to this equation uh, we have called equation 4 now we also have third equation so in this case this is our third equation i have rewritten uh, rewritten here k is equal to molar concentration of h plus into molar concentration of a minus divided by molar concentration of ha therefore if we rearrange it so molar concentration of ha into ka is equal to molar concentration of h plus into molar concentration of a minus now put this value of h plus into a minus into equation 4 so this is our equation 4 so here instead of molar concentration of a minus into molar concentration of h plus we have to put molar concentration of ha into k so kh is equal to ha into kw divided by ha into ka so that ha ha get cancelled and finally we get kh is equal to kw divided by ka so this is an expression for the hydrolysis constant okay for the uh, salts of weak acid and strong base so from these three equations we have obtained that equation and how we obtained this equation this is given here now next expression is for the degree of hydrolysis now see let degree of hydrolysis is h degree of hydrolysis is h again uh, we have to consider same reaction where a minus react with water to form ha and oh minus now if we consider initial co concentration initially the concentration of a minus is c and as initially there is no reaction the concentration of ha and oh minus is 0 0 now concentration at equilibrium so at equilibrium there is a reaction so the molar concentration of ha is ch while molar concentration of oh minus is also ch and initial concentration was c therefore the concentration at equilibrium of that a minus is c minus ch so we have minus that ch from that c so concentration at equilibrium of that a minus is c minus ch now we have kh is equal to molar concentration of ha into molar concentration of oh minus divided by molar concentration of a minus so we have to just put the values from this concentration at equilibrium so molar concentration of ha we have ch that oh minus we have ch and for a minus we have c minus ch okay so we can write kh is equal to h square c divided by 1 minus h now how it comes see here uh, c is in denominator c is taken common so c in bracket 1 minus h is there and 1 c from denominator and 1 c from numerator get cancelled and finally we have kh is equal to 
एच स्क्वेर इंटू सी डिवाइडेड बाय वन माइनस एच नाउ व्हेर एच इज व्हेरी स्मॉल द डिग्री ऑफ हाइड्रोलिस इज व्हेरी स्मॉल देअर फॉर वन माइनस एच इज कैन बी रिटर्न एज इक्वल टू वन सो दैट इक्वेशन बिकम के एच इज इक्वल टू एच स्क्वेर इंटू सी और वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई इट एज एच इज इक्वल टू सो एच स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू के एच डिवाइडेड बाई सी देअर फॉर एच इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट के एच अपॉन सी और फॉर एच वी कैन राइट अंडर रूट के डब्ल्यू अपॉन के ए इंटू सी बिकॉज वी हैव के एच इज इक्वल टू बिकॉज वी हैव के एच इज इक्वल टू के डब्ल्यू अपॉन के ए सो वी हैव ऑप्टेन दिस एक्सप्रेशन विच वॉज फॉर द हाइड्रोलिसिस कॉन्स्टेंट सो वी हैव put we have to put the value of kh that is kw upon k so the degree of hydrolysis h is equal to under root kw upon k into c okay now we have to also obtain an expression for ph for this salt of weak acid and strong base now see for ph uh, we have here a molar concentration of oh minus okay which is ch molar concentration of oh minus is ch so molar concentration of oh is equal to c into h now we have just derived expression for the h so it is equal to c into under root kw divided by ka into c now we can simplify it into under root kw into c divided by ka okay now from ionic product of water we can write molar concentration of h plus is equal to kw divided by molar concentration of oh minus okay so it is equal to we have to just put the value of molar concentration of oh minus which is under root kw into c divided by ka so here uh, i have put it that under root kw into c divided by ka okay so it is equal to when we simplify it it become under root kw square into ka divided by kw into c so on simplifying we get under root kw into ka divided by c now we have equation that molar concentration of h plus is equal to under root kw into ka divided by c now take negative logarithm on both sides so we get minus log of h plus is equal to minus log of so we have written it as minus log of in bracket kw into ka divided by c raised to one half so that under root instead of under root we have written that uh, bracket raised to one half okay so minus log of h plus we know that it is the ph so here ph is equal to one half so we have simplified this term one half into minus log of kw minus log of ka plus log of c so it become ph is equal to one half minus log of kw is nothing but pkw minus log of ka is nothing but pka plus log of c so this is an expression for the ph ph is equal to one half in bracket for pkw plus pka plus log of c for the salt of weak acid and strong base okay so in this lecture uh, today uh, we have considered two salts first one was the hydrolysis of salts of strong acid and strong base okay that solution is neutral therefore uh, we don't have to calculate its degree of hydrolysis or hydrolysis constant or ph that uh, its ph is 7 which is a neutral but later we have studied hydrolysis of salts of weak acid and strong base so in this case our acid is weak while base is strong solution is alkaline so in this case we have derived an expression for the hydrolysis constant which is kh is equal to kw divided by ka then uh, we have derived an expression for degree of hydrolysis which is h is equal to 
अंडर रूट के डब्ल्यू डिवाइडेड बाय के ए इंटू सी एंड फाइनली वी हैव डिराइव्ड एन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर पी एच विच इज पी एच इज इक्वल टू वन हाफ पी के डब्ल्यू प्लस पी के ए प्लस लॉग ऑफ सी सो दिस इज अबाउट दी साल्ट ऑफ स्ट्रांग एसिड एंड सॉरी दिस इज अबाउट दी हाइड्रोलिस ऑफ साल्ट ऑफ वीक एसिड एंड स्ट्रांग बेस थैंक यू